Well, what's up guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. So today we're gonna take a little tour and if you recognize this spot particularly, uh, it's because I took a picture right here uh, with the Z06 introducing kind of the headlights that I produce on this channel. So uh, the reason I'm out here today as I've discussed uh, with some of the subs if you've been watching the channel is uh, that a company out here called Dream Racing uh, basically has a bunch of race cars, exotic cars, things that you can drive out here and uh, we've kind of discussed doing a, a collaborative relationship. Enzo's gonna be our guy. Enzo's the guy. Because you, he, we're gonna work this on, he's gonna get some more hot laps out of it. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> gonna like it. He, we know his scheme now, he's yeah. trying to. <laughs> of uh, me basically shooting various videos out here and kind of working with them to promote uh, what they're doing and obviously reach out to you guys and uh, basically give you an opportunity. If you come into Las Vegas and you wanna do something awesome, I mean, who doesn't wanna do that? And I can tell you living out here, there's three companies that do this kind of service to where they can provide you a capability and a, you know, and, and, a, and a foundation to come out and drive something awesome. This place is the best in there. And I'm gonna tell you in this video why they're the best. So trust me on that. You're gonna see a lot in this video, guys. Stick around, you're watching Night Drive TV. So the key to dream racing guys is when you approach you actually go through these tunnels into the facility this is a great facility they have huge races here and so this is your entryway guys so as we can see out here guys full service facility um, we're gonna visit with these guys I want to uh, get a little insight I don't know if some of you guys work on cars but you're probably thinking like how do you get a job like that you know who, who would enjoy to come out here and maybe work on some race cars a so wonderful looking gt3 rs and i mean you know even if you own one of these you have to worry about the maintenance you know you have to worry if you if you break a uh, a windshield if you you know if you get an engine light you know it's always a process with these cars and so in a lot of ways you know there was rockefeller i think he said you know control everything and own nothing you know it's there's nothing better than driving someone else's cars and uh, and you know paying a limited amount of risk for it versus having to own it, insure it, uh, incur maintenance. 570S here. This is Lace's favorite car though. She loves F12s. Obviously we have an R8 here. Godzilla, everybody knows about the GTR. It's approaching, approaching its last year of life. Um, they're gonna cap off the series with a, uh, a really beast version i love these new aston martins um just the shape in race car form uh, this is kind of more kind of a combination basically a street car but i love these in race car form now this is a car guys and i'm telling you i'm super interested in comparing to the c8 um i think it's you know some people will say all oh, these didn't sell and things like that but you know there's a reason for that you know i don't think it has to do with the fact that it's not a good car and so i think this is a real opportunity to compare this car to a c8 and see, and, I, and I'm telling you, if this is like the Lexus LFA, uh, this is gonna be something that people are gonna start hoarding and they're gonna start buying them and there's gonna be a small opportunity to purchase one of these. So why not come drive one and see what it's like? Obviously the Supras, um, co-developed co with BMW, Magna Steyr builds these cars, um, obviously BMW engine and whatnot, but has that kind of legacy of the A80 Supras. Uh, lots of these here you can come and drive these maybe compare this to a c8 or if you're looking to buy something similar the new 400 uh, well it's not the 400 z it's the nissan z going to be curious to see what the comparison of the two is uh the 430 um you know this was this is a car again and i'm gonna i keep comparing to c8 but this is a car that uh you know was getting into even the sub 100 range uh for some higher mileage examples the 360 especially but um, these are, are, you know, real value potential to where you're, you're going to hit bottom in terms of what you're going to pay for this car and it's only going to either hold or go up from there and that's going to be different from something new. Uh, over here we have, it looks like an, just an AMG GTR that maybe, is that a GTR? I think it has a wing. Um, we're going to take a look at that in a second. Let me go over here. This is a GT2 RS. This is the Nürburgring Monster. Uh, obviously this car set an incredible pace at the Nürburgring. Uh, driving this car has got to be very intense. Um, need a lot of track, but these have a lot of grip. Um, they really put down a track time that was unbelievable at the Nürburgring, so that's pretty impressive. Um, Huracan race car here, so this is pretty much probably going to be a Super Trofeo. Uh, this is a GT3 car. Uh, looks like they have it in a pretty aggressive aero configuration. But uh, 
I mean, guys, you can come out here and drive this affordably at, at that because, you know, I looked at a lot of these, these companies that do this type of offering, and I'm going to tell you, like, the number of laps you can do in some of these cars out here, this is the best one, guys. I don't know why people go anywhere else. Don't make that mistake. So here we're going to be looking at, I mean, look at this 430. 430 GT3. Uh, I think they have a, a number of these, to be honest with you, but this is an incredible looking car. I would drive this car in the street. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, there's just something about race car. Obviously, it would be, it would be quite the experience to try and take it on the street. But um, man, just I, I just love race cars, guys. I, I love taking something that's already, you know, uh, very performance oriented and just taking it to the next level. Obviously, we have the AMG here as well. So. Um, so basically, Dream Racing is out here at the Speedway, and they occupy this large series of buildings. And when there's events, you'll have EDC, NASCAR, all kind of different things come in here. They kind of just close up, and they move to the outside uh, of the track. So that's something that I'm going to talk about. Uh, depending on when you come, uh, you know, you'll you'll get a different experience. So let's let's head down here to the racetrack and see what's going on, see what's driving around. So guys, I had to interrupt the edit here because I wanted to tell you what was about to happen at Dream Racing. I had heard this car lapping around that sounded crazy, crazy from a distance, but I wanted to go see what was over there. I approached this uh, particular guy with a Lamborghini shirt on, and I said, hey, you know, can I shoot this car? Can I talk to you about it? And he said, sure. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty secret car. And I just wanted to tell you the thing you don't know about Dream Racing is that they, Dream Racing and Lamborghini have a very close relationship. And it's a growing relationship, I think, over time, as I've been told. They can give you the pathway to race and Super Trofeo. Uh, really work with Lamborghini obviously to get into the racing series and even if you ever want to go to IMSA WEC these are things that I'm going to show you on this channel with the dream racing series but so me guys I have a very specific history with Lamborghini as you can see here this is a this is a key from a Diablo and I spent a lot of time in this particular uh, manual gearbox V12 Lamborghini Diablo quite a number of miles as you can see here on the screen but um you know, so it's big. If you're a Lamborghini fan, uh, Dream Racing has access to some of the most awesome Lamborghinis ever at different times, obviously. So what I did was I walked over, I approached the guy, I said, man, can we talk about the most awesome Lamborghini ever made? Because that's what was there. Check this out. Wow. The roll cage respect the new uh, hypercar LMDH, LMDH right. regulation right. the 2023. Right. It is the first car that uh, homologated with a new regulation, especially for the safety right. of the customer that decide to want to use the car. Right. Uh, we respect the, the racing car homologation. I see. But just to be sure that we are in the, the best uh, position for the customer. I see. The best condition. So uh, if you go to the other side, you can yeah. see the free hologram where the car is homologated. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, aerodynamically very efficient. I mean, obviously, you put a lot of... Uh, do you know any downforce, uh, any type of... Is there any number to it? Uh, yeah. At certain mile per hour? Yes. Around, a lot. I don't, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. You, you can tell, I mean, it's just amazing looking car. So, for ra race car, you're bringing back a little bit of the beauty. You know, the race car's got so computer evolved looking, you know, from yeah, but an aerodynamic it's perspective. Essenza in Italian means essential. Essential. Okay. The name is Essenza because the car is engine, gearbox. The only electronic devices that we have are the ABS system. Oh wow. And the traction control, but we don't have any kind of hybrid system. Or right, right. It's an old, old school car. <laughs> yeah, which is what a lot of people still want. You know. Yeah, exactly. They still want that experience of having something that it's you know. Eight hundred and thirty horsepower. Eight hundred and thirty. Wow. Oh, heck of a front end. Look at this. The gearbox is a racing gearbox. Okay. The same gearbox used as the LMP cars. Wow. So all the lighting down is, is just in the bottom there, huh? Yeah. Wow. That's tremendous looking. I love, you know, just the small details 
you know, for, uh, you know, the just your so. your air management. You know, yeah. I mean that airflow management. I, I love seeing that. A lot of time the wind tunnel. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> the best part of coming out here guys is this is this is an amazing car here I'm gonna put the name on the screen but listen to this beast oh my gosh pull her down guys so my camera overheated in the vegas heat interesting look at this uh 355 challenge car um he said he's not quite sure um why it's here but it's here so um very interesting car um actually had a 355 um nine years ago and um you know i will say five valve 355 is obviously 3.5 liter five valve and uh, very unique sound out of these. Interesting to see one here. Uh, so obviously another Huracan like was outside and they have so many of these guys. That's the thing, you can come out here, you can drive a freaking race car. Like, can you believe that, a race car? Like, it's one thing to go to Vegas and say, hey, I wanna drive like your run of the mill Ferrari, but to drive a Ferrari GT3 458, I mean, that's the experience you want guys, trust me. Um, the street car, unless you're looking to buy one and you want to kind of experience it before you buy it, is one thing. But this is the experience. This is going to be unlike anything you ever do. And um, as you can see, they have multiples. Unfortunately, I couldn't drive today because my back is really hurt. And um, even though I'm upright walking around, up, sit, standing to sitting and sitting to standing is, is my issue. So I'm just going to give you guys a walkthrough. And we're gonna come back and I think the next video guys, I'm gonna do a comparison of the C8 Corvette to something. And it's either gonna to be to the Supra or the NSX, uh, maybe a GTR. So guys, give me a comment of which one you wanna see. What is the comparison that you're truly curious about? The C8 versus what? And there's a lot here. If you go to Dream Racing's website, uh, you can see the cars that they offer. We can pretty much do any comparison you wanna do. And we can do more than one uh, long term, but Tell me what you guys want to see in the comments because I'm really curious. I've got an, I feel like NSX is calling me a bit, um, but even Ferrari 430, I think is an interesting one. From a price perspective, I think that they're, they're comparable. So uh, give me a comment, tell me what you want to see, but uh, check this out over here. There's a 599, <clears throat> which is yet again another, oh God, I feel like my back's too risky for me to bend over. Let me go around this. So this is their Camaro that they have for drift experience. I think they blew it up, they were saying, but I tell you, drift experience, you know, if you come out to one of these tracks, one of the best deals at these tracks, they don't really do too, too much off of a drift experience, but definitely something you won't forget. I suggest you come out here, you do a drift experience and you drive some race cars. That's my suggestion, but yeah. So Berlinetta, very known for these unique ducts here, this airflow management around the backside very interesting uh, we got a blown up m3 that is just thrashed they don't know what to do with it so <laughs> i said hey should i buy that um but uh so here we have another we have a 430 gt3 and uh, let me give you a look at this just all business you know no air conditioning in this one maybe there is a lot of race cars actually do have air conditioning um Air conditioning, believe it or not, in, in many racing series is mandated. Um, probably not in this era, um, but uh, I'm no expert there. Um, yet again, another 430 race car. Pretty much the same. Pretty straightforward, you know what I mean? Yeah, gearbox where you would expect it to be. Exhaust, twin cam V8. You know, simple. And, you know, I'm just looking like oh, how tough it is to work on one of these. I mean... You know, a lot of this stuff accessible from below, but I mean, this is all, I mean, you look at factory five GTM, like I used to build guys, exact same spots for the fuel. I mean, the frame looks the same. Pretty, pretty incredible how similar uh, a lot of these Ferraris and, you know, things, especially when you go back into the nineties, even the eighties. So here, uh, another 430 street car, obviously has carbon, carbon rotor option on it. Uh, don't step on the brakes 
they've got uh, no no caliper or no rotors in there so they're going to be drifting these as i understand oh man look at this now this here is a race car but it's got no wang what is this it's got no wang so i don't know is the door open on this the door's open what do we have here just all business guys all business no passenger seat in that one. Man, there's nothing to this door. Look at this. All carbon. Nothing to this door. It's just, I mean, this door is like three pounds. Three pounds at best. Looks like we just got some more Ferraris. Are you tired of Ferrari race cars? <laughs> Looks like that's a couple, we got a couple part slots over here. Broke them down to their windshield wipers, guys. Let's take a peek in here. kind of part slut here so man a lot of race cars as you can see just a cr an incredible amount of options available here and this is just a piece of it because they're moving actually for a couple of events so yeah let me show you the uh the lobby area pretty cool if you come here for an experience um obviously i'm going to get out of the heat here i have to grab my mask just because you know that's that time but um yeah let's go take a look over there so lastly guys we'll show you back here this is your prep area when you come to drive they will uh, prep you on some simulators as you can see here they even have a nice briefing room kind of give you an idea of uh, what's what's going to happen out there how they're going to instruct you but obviously um, they can even set you up with like I said racing license they can give you the full experience racing suit and everything so I will tell you I am very much looking forward to uh, coming out here and showing you guys some really awesome content so if you're excited as I am and guys you've been watching this channel I really appreciate you so uh, by all means guys give me a thumbs up on this video throw me a sub if you haven't been here before and just look forward to some awesome content so I'm gonna wrap it up here guys I'm gonna head out and uh, heal my back so uh, I appreciate you watching and I'm gonna catch you on the next one